everyone uh, so today this video is a review of the newly released Chanel Tweed eyeshadow collection um, I picked up one of the palettes from this collection and um, it's been quite a long time since I've bought an eyeshadow palette from Chanel but what drew me to this collection was of course um, the pretty tweed packaging. Um, if you like Chanel makeup, you would know that normally their eyeshadow palettes come in a black velvety uh, pouch. And this for this collection, I think it's limited edition. Um, what I do like about it is how each of the pouches match up with the eyeshadow shade that you get. So the one that I picked up is number 04, the rose colour, brown. This is the, um, the shade that I picked up. And yeah, I've removed the plastic cover already. And if you look at the colours here, they really do match up <laughs> very nicely with the pouch. Um, especially the pink or the rose shade looks very similar to the stitching on the pouch uh, and similarly the dark brown and the other shades of brown so I, I thought that was very very neat and very nice idea as you can see I've already used this quite a lot and I thought I should hurry up and film this before the tweed pattern completely disappears from using it um, I think the shades themselves are not super unique from what's on the market and probably what you already have. Certainly in my collection, these are just quite standard neutral colours. Um, so the pouch is the key attraction for this collection. And yes, it looks very cute. It looks very cute in the photos. And I think if you've seen other reviews, you know that it's lined in the Chanel logo as well. The lining. Uh, it, it, is, it, is, it is pretty, but once you have it in your hand and you feel it um, and look at the kind of stitching and how it's been put together, it does feel a little bit, um, I don't want to say cheap, but yes, slightly. Um, I've, I, I think there are some people that say the fabric is leftover fabric from Chanel tweed jackets. I would be very surprised if that's the case. It it feels quite synthetic. It doesn't feel like it's a wool kind of tweed material at all. Um, so I would be very surprised if they actually used this in any of their jackets. Um, it, it does feel slightly plasticky and that is a slight, slight disappointment I would say, but even though that's the case, I still really enjoy seeing the palette like this, pulling it out of my handbag and um, it, it does put a smile on my face. So I, I do still like it. Is it worth the money? Um, because these palettes are quite expensive. I think they are around 60, uh, around 60 or even 65 pounds in the UK. I got mine from the Chanel website. Even though Chanel eyeshadow palettes are quite expensive themselves, paying that extra amount just to get this pouch. Yeah, not, not sure it's entirely worth it, but um, it does put a smile on my face uh, when I use it. And I have been using this a lot this month. So onto the palette itself. I would say the dark brown is pretty much a matte brown although it's not a flat matte it has some dimension to it um, the other two lighter brown beigey colors those are uh, have a bit of a shimmer to them especially this lighter beige and then as you can see the rose or the pink color is very shimmery and that does have quite a bit of fallout um, so there are four colors in the collection i believe and I picked number four, the brown and the rose uh, shade. Why did I pick this colour? Mostly because it's a very wearable, neutral colour. 
and I do use this as everyday eyeshadow for work. Um, I'll talk about what I use to create my eye look in a little bit. Um, but yes, I do use this um, on my way to work, on my commute, on the train or the tube. Um, very easy palette to use in this. You can see I've used the applicators that it comes with. Uh, I do quite like them. They're very, it's very convenient. Um, and I do also like how the Chanel packaging is very lightweight, so it doesn't add much weight to your handbag. Um, I'll do some quick swatches. So the first first shade is this lighter beige color. Not sure if you'll be able to see it's it's very very neutral, a very neutral colour. Does have a bit of a sheen to it. I tend to use this to blend out the edges um, of the darker shadow. And then the second colour. It's this, um, I would say a taupey colour. So this is the taupey colour. Again, have a bit of a sheen. Um, the next one. So here are all four shades swatched and I just wanted to say the light pink colour, while it's very nice and shimmery, it do is quite prone to fall out. So um, even if you apply that with your fingers, you do. I do tend to need to clean up afterwards. There's enough difference between the shades to create dimension and especially the darker shade. You can um, use that as an eyeliner shade and to smoke out the outer edges. So it's... Yes, these colours are not unique, but then again, you will get a lot of use out of them. Um, very suitable to wear to work in an office environment. Um, yeah, if you want to smoke it out for an evening look, you probably could. Um, I haven't really tried that yet. Mostly it's been daytime looks for me using these. And here are the swatches again. This photo was taken in natural daylight. Um, in terms of how do I use this palette, um, I'm, I find that I really like using a cream product, cream eyeshadow on my eyelids first before applying powder and it will make these shades stand out more when I do that. So um, on the days that I just want a quite a matte base, I use this uh, Vive eyeshadow stick in the color Camo. I've had it for quite a while and I actually got it through one of the beauty gift bags, I think from Liberty, where you purchase a certain amount and then they will give you a goodie bag full of samples and sometimes full size products and this came with that. I'm not sure if you can tell how much I've used, but I've pretty much finished this now. Um, it was a complete surprise. I didn't think I would like it. I wasn't even interested in the brand. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it goes quite nicely with these colours. It adds a slightly warm undertone um, to, the, to the eye look. So you apply it directly to your lids, blend it out a little bit. And then on top of, pop, top of that, I would use this palette. So it's a very nice base. It's a little bit sticky um, and I do find eyeshadows show up brighter uh, and also last longer even in the summer when it was very hot in the UK this summer. I use this every day to keep my eyeshadows in place um, so I really do very do like that. Um, the other cream product that I use with this palette more recently is this um, by Terry Ombre Blackstar. Um, yeah, I think for those of you that's been watching YouTube for a while, these were very popular, uh, I would say, five to ten years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember the days when a lot of, uh, I think it probably started with British YouTubers, um, people like Anna Edit, uh, I think she introduced me to this. And this is in the kind of very popular colour, Misty Rock. And here it is. It is quite shimmery, um, but so when I use this Ombre Black Star by Terra Ombre Black Star, I would only use it with the more matte colors. So 
these three shades, I would not really use um, the shimmery pink. Although you can still add the shimmery pink to the middle of your eyelids and it will just make, make the look more shimmery if that's what you like. Um, but the ombre black style works really well with this dark matte brown smoked out in the outer edges. I really like that look. Um, and then I would just use a, uh, essentially one of these cream products the eyeshadow palette layered on top and then for eyeliner i would use the chanel uh, just their basic eyeliner eyeliner in number 88 noir intense so just intense black um, and and i really like these these eye eyeliners are quite long lasting they don't um, bleed on my lower lash line so I, I really like this um yeah and i've paired this look with this nail polish shade uh, which is a, also a chanel nail polish this is again very nostalgic i've had this for at least seven eight years i think uh, and it's the 491 from chanel um very nice color for autumn very neutral again very appropriate for work for daytime um i don't think this is available anymore uh, but yeah it's it's a very very nice shade and even though i've had this for so many years it still works very well i do use it with the gel coat um, and in terms of lips um really really liking this uh, Sicily lip crayon and if I put the colour here yeah I think you can see just how well all these colours work together um, very muted autumn tones I would say and this is in the colour number 9 so it's called the Phyto Lip Twist yeah, this has been my go-to makeup look for most of September. So I think these palettes, um, these tweed palettes came out at the start of September and ever since getting it, uh, I've been using it quite consistently as you can see from the usage. Um, so, so I do like it, I do like it. Um, is it such a unique palette that you have to have? Uh, probably not and you probably can find very similar colors from other brands or anything you already have in your collection um, if you're looking for something that's quite lightweight to carry around and you find yourself rushing in the morning you need to do your makeup in the tr uh, in the tube or on the train then yeah this is great <laughs> so I, I do I do think Chanel palettes because of their size uh, it is very cute to carry around in your handbag and very handy to do your makeup on your commute like me or um or if you want if you just want to carry it around to touch up before you go out in the evening i think that these are very handy to have and if you like chanel you like tweed it, it would put a smile on your face i think um so yeah, I think that's my thoughts on it. Um, this is my first video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, please do leave it in the comments. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll bring more videos in the future. Have a good day. Bye.